First Bank, as the name implies, is the premier bank in West Africa, established in 1894. With a 5.3 trillion Naira asset base and gross earnings of 514.8 billion Naira, First Bank is one of the largest in the Nigerian banking industry. Of Nigeria's 200 million population, there are only 50 million banked people and over 17 million of them are First Bank customers, giving it the largest customer base among other banks as it pushes to improve financial inclusion. First Bank's pride is as much in its stay in power as in its spread across Nigeria, with more than 800 branches in over 57,000 business outlets across all 774 local government areas of the country and footprints across Africa and beyond. Sterin First Bank is a team comprising industry leaders and seasoned bankers. Leading the team is the chairman, Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika, and the chief executive officer, Dr. Adeshola Adedunton. In its 126 years of operations in Nigeria, First Bank's focus has placed emphasis on weaving its impact into the fabric of society by sustaining development-oriented services and financing numerous areas of nation-building, including infrastructure, agriculture, technology and education, among others. Joining us on the program is the Chief Executive Officer of First Bank, Dr. Adeshola Adedunton, to talk about the bank's strides and its impact in society. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me on your program. It's indeed a pleasure to have you. Let's talk about First Bank's impact in the past over 100 years. Last year, you celebrated 125 years in operation, which is a huge milestone. How has the bank remained at the forefront of banking in Nigeria? First Bank is um, 126 years old this year. And one of the things that, um, the reason why we have remained the um, dominant financial institution in this part of the world is the fact that um, for us, we put our stakeholders, customers, regulators, all our critical stakeholders, we put them right in there at the center of our business strategy. And that's why our mantra, you first, becomes extremely important. So once we are able to cater to the needs of our customers and other critical stakeholders, that has enabled us to remain very relevant. And how do you remain relevant over a century and 26 years? It's very simple. We have perfected the art of inventing and reinventing ourselves. And that is the reason why the institution will be able to go through various challenges. We've seen various cycles. We were here before amalgamation. We were here at amalgamation. We were here during the pre-colonial period. We were here at independence, civil war. So this is an institution that's ingrained within the DNA of our institution. Is this capacity to continuously invent and reinvent ourselves. And that is what has made us uh, very relevant. But central to that reinvention, continuous reinvention, is putting our customers and other stakeholders first. And that has defined the institution over the last 126 years. So it's an institution that we're very proud of. It's an, uh, an achievement that we're proud of. And we are building to last. When we talk of banking in Nigeria, there's still a large unbanked population. What is First Bank doing to close the gap in terms of financial inclusion? If there's an, is there one area where this iconic institution, where we have distinguished ourselves, it's in aligning our business strategy with the need of the country for economic growth and development. And you cannot achieve economic growth and development without financial inclusion. The Central Bank of Nigeria has set, set a target on, um, on financial inclusion and her institution, First Bank. We are in the forefront of working 
with the central bank and the federal government of Nigeria to address this. How are we doing this? Today, First Bank agent, Christine First Money, we have 60,000 First Money agents scattered across the nooks and crannies of this country. Indeed, as I speak here to you today, like I mentioned, we have over 60,000, and we are present our agency banking um, reps. They are present in 772 local government, out of the 774 local government that makes up this uh, federation. So we are, we built a distribution channel that is not comparable uh, to what any other person has. It's, um, we, we're just in a class of our own, as far as that um, network of agents is concerned. When you layer that on the back of the fact that we have over 700 branches, we have over 3,000 ATMs, we have taken banking to the nooks and crannies of the country, to the doorsteps of our people. Um, so this as, as, is assisting the country to significantly promote financial inclusion and ensure that the target that the Central Bank of Nigeria has set for itself is achieved. It's something we're very proud of. And our target is to continue to build on the sources of our first money agency system. This COVID-19 pandemic that took the world by surprise really gave an opportunity, gave the private sector an opportunity to impact society. We've seen a lot of interventions here and there aimed at working with the government to cushion the impact of the pandemic. What has First Bank done so far to address this problem? Okay, um, there are two ways that we have um, supported the society where we operate in Nigeria. As you're also aware, we, we have businesses in um, six other African countries, so we're in Ghana, Guinea Conakry, Sierra Leone, um, Gambia, Senegal, and Democratic Republic of Congo, in addition to our uh, business in London. So, but in Nigeria specifically, um, we are a key member of the private sector coalition against COVID, Christian Car COVID. In fact, I, as the CEO of First Bank, I sit on the steering committee. In addition to what we are doing collectively with other key private sector players, First Bank on our own, we chose to intervene in the area of uh, education by providing e-learning support. We are supporting Lagos State government by providing uh, tablets to students, secondary school students uh, in all our public schools. We started with 20,000 um, tablets. We are um, rallying support from other private sector um, players to come around and increase the number because the number that is required by the Lagos State government is much higher. But over and above that, we've also said to ourselves, the university students are also at home. There are also people who are currently completing their youth service or waiting to go to youth service who also require to pick up additional skills and capabilities. And we've gone into an alliance, into partnership with IBM, where we, First Bank and IBM, we're going to train about 50,000 Nigerians, young graduates or undergraduates, with what I call the modern IT skills, coding artificial intelligence, um, robotic process uh, automation, machine learning, data analysis. These initiatives targeted towards improving education in Nigeria, which you speak about, are there de deliberate attempts by the bank to drive sustainable development through educational initiatives and programs of the bank? Absolutely, yes. Um, We've also anchored a number of our business strategy around, especially our CSR strategy, um, is anchored around sustainable banking, of which um, we are committed to supporting the federal government and the various state government to push the envelope in the area of attainment of the sustainable development objectives. And education is central to virtually everything. With education, there's so many things that gets done. And that's part of why we have owning on supporting education, actively promoting education, because by supporting and promoting education, you are promoting empowerment, you are promoting 
poverty elevation, you are promoting health and wellness, or more importantly, you are assisting our country to address poverty, thus promoting economic growth and development. Where do you see banking in Nigeria in the next, say, five to ten years? The, the banking sector in Nigeria, in Nigeria and globally is one sector that has been significantly impacted by technology. So um, we've seen a number of irreversible uh, changes. The process of moving away from brick and mortar to what I call the click and uh, mortar has started. And um, I believe with COVID-19 crisis, that process is being accelerated. What does this mean? Technology will continue to play a very, very important role. Indeed, um, our view is um, technology will play a much more important role going into the future. We've always described ourselves uh, as a financial institution that is leveraging technology, digital technology, to move the frontier of banking services. So automation, contactless banking, um, internet banking, those changes that we are seeing today, they will be accelerated such that um, in another five to 10 years, the role of uh, branches in banking will become significantly diminished. Um, so it's about technology, it's about knowledge, it's about quality of customer service, which um, invariably defines the customer experience. When the customer comes into contact with your brand, either by walking into your branch on the net, on the phone, or whatever channel they are transacting with you, the quality of the experience has to be super. So that is the future of banking. And how prepared is First Bank to embrace these changes? Um, we've made significant progress. Um, I, during this last um, the lockdown, um, we processed um, significant amount of transactions. Um, today, when it, if you look at the payment subsector of the banking sector in Nigeria today, our bank, we are accountable for about 20, 25% of the volume of transaction that is processed, payment transaction that is processed in this country today. And that's significant. And that's reflective of the kind of investment that we have made and will continue to make. Today, we have about 10 million customers actively transacting on our USSD platform, star 894 hash. We have more than 3.5 million customers on our first mobile platform. We are the only bank in this part of the world that has issued more than 10 million cards. Indeed, we are the second bank on the continent of Africa that has issued more than 10 million cards. So the process of digitization and align, enabling our customers to transact seamlessly from the comfort of their home or wherever they are, has started. And like I said, First Bank, like all other key players, we will be accelerating that process as we make the journey because it's an irreversible uh, change. And um, we are fully prepared. We are fully prepared. Thank <music> you.